sometimes in the process, days and weeks can go by between interactions, mm -hmm. and students become uncertain in that situation. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice? I do. Uh, you know, it's all about etiquette. Um, I, I get the, the best students that contact me will, will, will try and reach me by phone leave a succinct message, and then indicate that I'm going to call you back or I'm going to send you an email. So now I'm prepared for the next call or I'm prepared for the email, um, and I can now react to it. Um, they, they will then will engage in some dialogue. Okay, you want to do this? Okay, what do, what do you think about this? Or what are you doing there? How's your plan here? Um, and in networking, I'm a big advocate of you have to reach your tentacles out to everybody you know. This is where you grew up, friends of your parents, your professors, uh, relationships that they have, and what is your plan, in essence, in managing all of these contacts you have in addition to alumni and trying to help them, in essence, develop a plan. Um, I generally will then give them some feedback as to here's what I think you should go do and reach back out to me or contact me and let me know how it's going. So, again, three or four weeks, a month, two months may go by before they reach back out, but I go right back to the plan going, all right, here's what we talked about eight weeks ago. Where are we? And to the extent they are moving the ball, I continue to engage. To the extent that they don't, I go, why are you wasting your time? And by the way, now mine. Because I gave you some counsel, you're not following it, but now you're calling me back. It takes more than just going, because you're a Miami grad and I'm a Miami student, that's enough to get me a job or to get me a referral. It's not quite that simple. So the student, part of the advice is the student should be managing their own personal plan Absolutely. of networking. Absolutely. While I was here the last in, in Oxford the last couple of days, I got a, an email from a student that I started working with last year who happens to want to go in the financial industry. And he was trying to get some internships. Um, I had made some contacts for him. He was interviewing through the process. And he sent me an email last week saying, end of school year is happening. Here are the three uh, summer jobs that I'm still working on. I haven't heard back. I expect to hear something next week. If I do, this is the one I'm going to take. If I don't, not sure what my summer is going to look like. Still want to have relevant experience. Do you know of anybody in your community that might be interested in looking for an internship for the summer? So I felt good that he had kind of laid out a plan, was following the plan, wasn't badgering me or going help but was communicating to me what his strategy was, but then was also kind of reaching out saying, I'm doing what I'm doing, but if it doesn't work out, can I call you next week and say, well, those three opportunities I was chasing didn't work out. Is there anything else you might be aware of? How did you respond? I sent him back a message saying, good job. Let me know how it goes. Um, how was finals? And you know, now that student has drawn me in. I'm interested. I'm invested in this person. I want to know how they're doing because he's done an efficient job of communicating. He's followed up when he said he would follow up. Uh, and now I'm committed, I'm committed to the process. Many times you'll give advice, as I've, as I've done before. The students will go off and do it, and then they'll, they'll send an email that kind of says, well, nothing's really happened. Just wanted to touch base. Well, thanks for touching base, but that doesn't really give me anything to work with. That doesn't give me anything to help you with in terms of, well, what isn't working? What is working? What can we change about your plan? I had one student that sent me a resume that was a, a, a completely wrong for the job they were interviewing for, but yet it was a resume they designed for a different position they were looking for. So I said, well, you, you got to think a little bit here in terms of if you want to go into a specific industry, you might have to change your resume a little bit to appeal to that industry. And they just didn't want to do the work to have to retype the resume. So simple little things like that can make a huge difference.